Hey guys, I'm Tim from Katie Crafts and welcome to this week's project. We are making a helix spiral lolly stick lamp made out of lolly sticks, a small piece of um, paper and a bunch of bright LEDs. As you can see, a total darkness It's actually got quite a cool effect. There's a nice bit of upright, up lighting from the top and it gets a really cool spiral effect which you can probably see on the wall behind me. But with that out of the way, let's have a look at the materials and let's get started. Okay, for this project you're going to need a hot glue gun, narrow nozzle's great for this. You're also going to need a pack of glue sticks. Oh, optionally, you could always use PVA glue instead. You're going to need an old USB cable with that connector. As well as that, you're going to need a whole load of lolly sticks. You're also going to need nine 5mm clear white LEDs, I picked mine up off eBay. And with some current limiting resistors, mine are 510 ohms, which is perfect. Make sure your USB port doesn't fry your LEDs. With that out of the way, you're going to need to get layers of the lolly sticks. You're going to need to lay two parallel like this, then touching one corner and overlapping by just the tip of a lolly stick. Repeat on the other opposite side. So if you look down the corners, you should have just a width of a fingernail there. Make a whole load of those and glue them tip to tip on top. After that, you're going to want to cut two lolly sticks a little bit short so they fit between the two edge pieces. Use a pair of scissors to chop those short and make sure they fit. After that, cut yourself a piece of white copy paper, large enough to fit on top as a square, and then glue two full size lolly sticks on top just like this, tip to tip, and then glue down your slightly smaller pieces in between to create a nice square frame on top. Looking lovely. Once you've done that, use your pair of scissors to snip off those little curved ends of your lolly sticks. Prepare for some serious pinging here, and you may need to glue down the lolly sticks afterwards. This way you've got a lovely neat top to your lamp and it really does add the aesthetic. Do watch those eyes though. There you go, looking good. Once you've done that, you want to get yourself 11 lolly sticks for the base, and grab them and take them downstairs. Once done that, you need to make use pencil to mark at three, five and a half, and eight centimeters from the end. Do that on two other lolly sticks. Once done that, grab your drill and the five mil drill bit and drill out those holes, making sure to sand down the edges, but all use a pencil whittled into the holes to smooth them out. Once done that, lay them out like this with two lolly sticks between each of the lolly sticks with the holes in. After that, grab your LEDs, bend the legs apart, and take your resistors and wind them around the long leg. That's going to be the positive leg for LED. Repeat that for all your LEDs. Windy, windy, windy. There we go. Takes about five minutes. Once you've done that, take your soldering iron and you want to just add a little bit of solder where the resistors meet the LEDs, creating a nice join from when we are going to solder those in later. Once you've done that, it's time to lay your lolly sticks back on top. So you're going to go, maybe you're going to go two lolly sticks, then one with a hole, then two, then one with a hole, then two, and then you should end up with two hole, two hole, two. You may find that there's one one extra at the end, which is what I found. But if you can fit them all in there, fitting diagonally along using the other lolly sticks underneath as a guide, then they should look perfect. Once you've done that, using a hot glue gun. Glue down the lolly sticks in place, so they're nice and firm. Your next step is to dry a circuit. As you can see here, I've drawn some common paths for the negative wires and some common paths for the positive wires. Then using copper tape, we're going to copper tape them down onto the lolly stick base. Using some highlighters, I'd mark out where your trails are going to go. As the copper tape goes on top, it doesn't really matter about using ink when you would. Next up, stick your LEDs back in, making sure the positive legs with the resistors are pointing towards your positive tracks, in my case that's the pink, and your negative legs, that's the shorter leg, is pointing towards the green track, which is where our negative wire is going to go. Use your hot glue gun to secure your LEDs in place, and then bend down the legs. Next up, cut yourself a piece of copper tape that's just the right length, follow your wire, and smooth it down on top over your ink. Repeat that with your other wires, 
When it comes to folding down the LED legs, make sure they're nice and flat against the wood so just the tip at the end of the resistor pokes out onto where the pink lines are going to be. Take your time with this, it can be quite fiddly as the resistors can be quite long. Alternatively, you could shorten the resistor legs which makes this step a little bit easier. As you can see, just the tips of the resistor legs are holding out over the pink lines. Perfect. Smooth down the copper tape on top, making sure the other ones are smoothed down quite nicely as well. And there you go, our first positive wires done. Repeat that with the other LEDs and the legs and the copper tape. We'll speed this up a little bit for you. This stage you may find that once you've got the copper tape down the right place, if you uh, tin the resistor legs beforehand, this can speed it up. Next up, use your soldering iron and your solder to go over all the points where the LED legs touch the copper tape and where the copper tape pieces join in the corners. This way you're going to ensure a really good connection and a good, good con conductivity between your pieces. Mm. If there is a little accident, don't forget, as it's copper tape, you can just unpick it and smooth it back in place. Next up, grab a pair of scissors and you're going to chop off that end of the USB cable. You running a knife around the outside, pull off the rubber sheathing, strip back all those little metal bits, being careful of your fingers and snip those off. If there's an inside cladding, pull that back and remove it. And then we're only going to need the red and black wires. Snip off the green and white ones for the data and then using your knife, gently remove the rubber sheathing on the two wires and then twist them around. Next up, grab your soldering iron in, in your solder and tin the ends of your positive red and negative black wires. Make sure you're doing this in a well ventilated area, regardless of what kind of solder you're using. Next up, we want to make sure our circuit works, so let's hold down those contacts. We have 9 working LEDs, absolutely brilliant. If you've got an LED that isn't turning on, then just take your soldering iron and your solder to the edges where the LED laser are touching the copper tape, and then just solder those connections again. Lastly, you want to solder the red and black wires, red to the positive and black to the negative. Turn off those lights to admire your handiwork. You might also find you want to hot glue the wires in place just for holding it steady and making sure that your wires don't snap off. Well there you go, that's it, you've finished off your lamp, let's turn them over, admire our handiwork, let's go and turn off those lights and see how it looks. A thing of beauty, bright enough to read by, a lovely little decorative piece. And one thing you could do is why not make a whole load of these, stack them atop each other and make a bit of a feature in your living room or your lounge. Well there you go guys, thanks so much for checking out the video. Hopefully by now you'll be inspired to go make your own Helix Spiral Lolly Stick Lamp. If you have, then do check out the other videos on the channel for more crafty ideas. Thanks so much for checking out the video, and why not try these videos coming up soon. I'll catch you next time.